Hello and welcome to Top 10 Horror Movies, the channel where we count down the most terrifying films of all time. Today we have a special episode for you, Top 10 Horror Movies you probably hated the first time round. These are the movies that may have confused, bored, or annoyed you when you first watched them, but deserve a second chance for their originality, atmosphere, and hidden meanings. Let's get started with our list. Are we having a party or something? Let the Right One In 2008. This is a Swedish romantic horror film directed by Thomas Alfredson based on the novel of the same name by John A.V. Lindquist. It tells the story of Oscar, a bullied 12-year-old boy who befriends Eli, a mysterious girl who turns out to be a vampire. The film explores themes of loneliness, friendship, and love in a bleak and snowy setting. The film had a budget of $4.5 million and made $11.2 million worldwide. It received critical acclaim for its subtle and restrained style, its performances by Kerr Hedebrandt and Lena Leanderson as Oscar and Eli, and its faithful adaptation of the novel. However, some viewers may have found the film too slow-paced, too violent, or too ambiguous for their taste. Donnie Darko 2001 Number 8, Donnie Darko 2001 This is a sci-fi horror film written and directed by Richard Kelly. It follows Donnie Darko, a troubled teenager who has visions of a giant rabbit named Frank who tells him that the world will end in 28 days. Donnie then becomes involved in a series of strange events that may be related to time travel, parallel universes, and fate. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Donnie Darko, Gina Malone as his love interest Gretchen Ross, and Patrick Swayze as a motivational speaker with a dark secret. The film had a budget of $4.5 million and made $7.5 million worldwide. It received mixed reviews from critics and audiences, who were either fascinated or frustrated by its complex and cryptic plot, its references to philosophy and pulp culture, and its ambiguous ending. The film has since gained a cult following and is considered one of the best films of the 2000s. 6. The Witch 2015 The Witch 2015 this is a historical horror film written and directed by Robert Eggers. It depicts the life of a Puritan family in 17th century New England who are tormented by an evil force in the woods near their farm. The film stars Anya Taylor-Joy as Thomason, the eldest daughter of the family who is accused of witchcraft by her parents and siblings Ralph Ineson as William, the patriarch of the family who struggles to maintain his faith and authority, and Kate Dickey as Catherine, the mother of the family who suffers from grief and paranoia. The film had a budget of $4 million and made $40.4 .4 million worldwide. It received rave reviews from critics who praised its authentic recreation of the period, its atmospheric cinematography and music, its psychological tension and terror, and its exploration of themes such as religion, family, and feminism. However, some viewers may have disliked the film for its slow-burning pace, its minimal use of jump scares or gore, its heavy use of Old English dialogue, and its ambiguous ending. It follows 2014. This is a supernatural horror film written and directed by David Robert Mitchell. It follows Jay Height, Micah Monroe, a teenage girl who is pursued by a relentless entity that can take any human form after she has sex with her boyfriend Hugh, Jake Weary. Jay learns that the only way to get rid of the entity is to pass it on to someone else by having sex with them. The film also stars Keir Gilchrist as Paul, Jay's childhood friend who has a crush on her, Daniel Zavato as Greg, Jay's neighbor who offers to help her, Olivia Lucardi as Yara, Jay's friend who likes to read, and Lily Seppe as Kelly, Jay's sister who supports her. The film had a budget of $2 million and made $23.2 million worldwide. It received positive reviews from critics who lauded its original premise, its retro style and soundtrack, its suspenseful direction and cinematography, and its allegorical commentary on sexuality and morality. However, some viewers may have been disappointed by the film's lack of explanation or resolution for its premise, its inconsistent rules for the entity's behavior, or its open-ended finale.
The Babadook 2014. This is a psychological horror film written and directed by Jennifer Kent. It centers on Amelia, Essie Davis, a widowed mother who struggles to cope with her son Samuel, Noah Wiseman, who has a behavioral problem and fears of monsters. One night, they read a mysterious pop-up book called Mr. Babadook, which tells the story of a sinister creature that torments its victims once they become aware of its existence. Soon, Amelia and Samuel begin to experience terrifying phenomena that may be caused by the Babadook or by their own mental breakdown. The film had a budget of $2 million and made $10.3 million worldwide. It received critical acclaim for its exploration of themes such as grief, depression, and motherhood. Its performances by Davis and Wiseman, its effective use of sound and editing, and its avoidance of cliches and cheap scares. However, some viewers may have found the film too depressing, too disturbing, or too ambiguous for their liking. The Neon Demon 2016 This is a horror thriller film co-written and directed by Nicholas Winden Refn. It follows Jesse, Ellie Flanning, a young aspiring model who moves to Los Angeles and becomes the target of envy and obsession by other models and people in the fashion industry. The film also stars Jenna Malone as Ruby, a makeup artist who befriends Jesse. Bella Heathcote as Gigi, a model who undergoes plastic surgery to stay relevant, Abby Lee as Sarah, a model who is jealous of Jesse's natural beauty, Carl Glusman as Dean, a photographer who likes Jesse, Keanu Reeves as Hank, the manager of the motel where Jesse stays, and Christina Hendricks as Roberta Hoffman, the owner of a modeling agency. The film had a budget of $7 million and made $3.4 million worldwide. It received polarized reviews from critics and audiences, who either loved or hated its stylized visuals, its synth-pop soundtrack, its surreal and violent scenes, and its satirical critique of the beauty industry. That's it for today's episode of Top 10 Horror Movies. We hope you enjoyed this countdown of the most divisive horror movies ever made. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more horror content. And don't forget to comment below and let us know what you think of these movies. Thanks for watching and see you next time. She was right.